Alright, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, Kal Halayim, Wahawad La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashiach, Wamalak Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example, as he had a true teachings for our nation on earth today. Enough respect, peace, and blessings and salutations to the elect. Alright, that's the house of David, the Bayat Dawidah, being raised up, taught, proper through the spirit in the latter days according to bible prophecies all right to a few sisters who are doing the right thing to us they shall alarm and i don't want out which means lord willing you know so lord willing this lesson is edifying so and the brothers pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the, of the earth present your bodies as a living sacrifice okay so um <clears throat> you know it's why we need a, a righteous rulership under how shy man okay because you know, things are just getting worse and worse. Alright, let's just progress on in this year. Alright, hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass. Now, as you can see on your screen, man, from the New York Post, date of January the 15th, 2023. Okay. Their title reads, The Gates of Hell. You know, I've got to speak like, speak like that, you know, in case it triggers an algorithm. Alright. But you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Microsoft, the main man. Alright, it says the gates of hell says fake meat products will eventually be very good, right, in his own words. Okay, and it goes on to read, Microsoft co-founder turned billionaire philanthropist Bill Gates, I said it anyway, said he is hopeful that fake meat products will eventually be a very good option for consumers even though the share of products in the meat market is small. I think eventually these products will be very good even though their share is small today. Gates of Hell said in a Reddit forum on a question relating to tackling the climate crisis. Gates of Hell said innovations like Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods which are plant based food options that range from burger to chicken nugget alternatives and the food technology company Upside Foods which takes animal cells to then grow meat in a laboratory environment are crucial steps for reducing animal consumption. Right, and that's, you know, that's madness, man, that's wicked, you know, so that's, that's the devil, that's Esau Eden for you, alright, and you know, they always have to blame, you know, climate change, throw that in there, alright, when really they, they damage the environment, man, okay, and this beyond me, it could be, you know, human parts in there, crying out loud, and it goes on the climate activists pointed to more traditional approaches to avoiding meat like vegetarianism or going vegan and said that is great but noted that most people will not choose to remove meat from their diet okay right, and even these plant based options man they're, they're defiled too so it reads I don't think most people do that he said noting that alternative meat products were necessary options to therefore lower meat consumption the UN this year warned that steps lined out in the 2015 Paris Climate Accord to lower global warming have not been sufficiently taken. Okay. So Gates of Hell said he still believes we can avoid a terrible outcome. Studies vary when it comes to the effect that animal agriculture has on the greenhouse gas emissions with estimates ranging from rough, roughly 10 to 20 percent of global emissions. So most studies list it as a leading contributor to climate change. Okay. <clears throat> the pace of innovation is really picking up even though we won't make the current timelines or avoid going over one and a half degrees celsius gates of hell said in response to a question on how adequately the world is responding to global warming now that's that's just lies man that's a distraction all right you know and the lord he's, he's bringing judgment on this earth you how about is bringing judgment on this earth okay we know Satan has, you know, power over the air. He's the prince of the power over the air. Okay. But, the, you know, these so-called natural disasters that take place, man, it's all under the Yahweh Basham Yahweh's control. Okay. Alright. And that will affect, you know, agriculture. You know, lack of rain, of course, will affect crops. Stuff like that. And there's even documentaries on things like this. 
The key on climate is making the clean products as cheap as the dirty products in every area of emission, planes, concrete, meat, etc. He said, this is the only way we can ask all the countries in the world to change. If it costs a lot extra, we won't succeed. We need support on climate from both parties in the US and in all countries. Mr. Microsoft added, noting that staying hopeful is a good thing. Right, that's, that's that article. Okay. Now that's the alternative they want to go to. Alright. You know, all the food and, and things, are, that's completely through. It's completely gone, man. We don't even know what we're eating. Alright. It wasn't like back in the ancient world where you know, things were had proper nutrients and it sustained you when you ate it. It gave you all the you know the vitamins and minerals that you needed. All right. <laughs> now <laughs> the food is more poisonous. So this is a uh, Ezekiel chapter four. Uh, Ezekiel chapter four verse thirteen, and the Lord Yahweh said. Even thus shall the children of Yasha'ala eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Right, and we're in captivity, man. Okay. Alright, bread meaning food. Okay, you could throw water in there as well. You know, because all our drinks, our water, our soda, all the sodas that we, you know, we drink and consume. Right, man, that's just nothing but poison. Alright, that damages you. Right, you think, if you think the water's even better... Okay, man, there's, there's chemicals in that, man. Especially, you know, plastic. You know, drinking out of plastic with all that plastic particles in your system. Okay. Right. Because these heathens, man, they can't manage this world properly. You know, since we're in captivity due to the curses in Deuteronomy 28, and we've been scattered amongst the Gentiles, we're the nations, we're the heathen nations. Alright, we have to, you know, rely on our enemies for the want of all things including food and water okay which is all tainted especially by you saw Edom okay let's look at the the word defiled so the Hebrew word for defiled it's H2 931 and it reads Tama'ah Tama'ah and it goes into unclean, impure, ethically and religiously, ritually of places. Right, unclean, impure. Alright. Look at the, the factories and, you know, the things that they spray over these foods. Okay. Coca-Cola, you know, that can be used to clean toilets. And I saw an experiment on YouTube on someone uh, boiling that in a cooking pan and it destroyed their pan. So imagine what it can do to <laughs> do to your insides. Okay. All right. You know, and I think uh, I had a you know a friend tell me that I believe over here in the UK they have uh, you know where they have bananas manuf you know in factories. Okay, they have them on conveyor belts. All right. And machines, you know, lowers them into a chemical, dip it into a chemical, and it ripens it quicker. All right. You know, and that's going against its natural, you know, seasonal ripening time. Okay. You know, and they do this because over here the climate is cool in the UK, cool and damp. All right, so it didn't have the desired conditions to ripen naturally, like it would do in a warm tropical country, because obviously they can't grow over here. All right. And imagine the chemicals seeping into the banana skin and then into the banana itself causing problems, especially later for the consumer when they buy it and eat it, you know. And you can, you know, research on Google, you know, how it's made, how food is made, even on YouTube. You can see the manner of, you know, abominable acts that they've done, done to the food, you know, where it's stored, how it's stored, dust getting on the food in the factories, things like that. You know, it's ridiculous. That's what makes it unclean, impure. Alright. Even, you know, ethic, because, you know, even to a, an ethical and religious standard, same thing applies. 
okay even ritually look up the word ritual or ritually all right it's with oxford di uh, definition dictionary it said in a way that is done as a religious or solemn rite okay and you know you've got you know elam so-called East Indians and Ishmaelites, right? Especially those that follow the, the Islamic faith, right? They they pray over that to Allah, which is a moon god, okay? You know, to a, a false deity, right? That's why you have your halal foods, okay? Your halal butchers, all right? So that's an example of that. You know, so you know when when if you buy buy from them, you know you want to pray over that man. So you want to pray over that, okay? You know, so that's the condition that that we're in. You know. Because really, man, it's just nothing but chemicals and, and stuff that we eat and can. And it's the sure mercies of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai that's keeping us here. Alright? It's supposed to sustain you, instead you, you, you end up going back, eating more and more to try and keep you. Because the food is more of a, <laughs> a drug than, <laughs> than to, you know, build you up, replenish you. Okay? You know, the morals and things that they've done, and you know, DNA extracted from foods and crossbred and stuff like that in a lab. That's not ethical at all, man. Alright, that's immoral. But you know, you saw Edom, he does this and pushes this, this behavior. Okay, let's get another precept. Go to the book of Isaiah or Yeshaya, right? In Hebrew, which means salvation, Yahweh. Okay, the book of Yeshaya, chapter 24, and verse 5. The earth also is defiled, right? It's polluted, right? It's godless, corrupt. Right, very immoral. Okay, under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Right, because the earth was given given into the hands of the wicked. Job nine and twenty four, man. Right, and Esau Edom is very immoral. Okay, it's very profane. All right, didn't keep none of the laws of the scriptures. Okay, that's why the earth is in the condition. That it's in. Right. Get another preset. Isaiah. Chapter 19. Verse 4. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. Right in America, Babylon the Great, and spiritual Egypt. Okay, all over again. That's right. You know, wherever this man goes and whatever he does. Okay, there's never stability. There's just wickedness and wickedness multiplied. Okay. Let's look at the etymology of the word perverse. That's why we need a right to rulership, man. On the Alba Shemel Shai. Okay, or else if the devil had it do his way, no flesh would be saved. So, etym online, the word for perverse, the adjective. Hello. Firstly, I just want to say thank you for picking up this book. And I wonder if the reason that you were drawn to it was the same reason I started writing it. 
Have you ever found yourself in that moment where you just wonder, what's next? What do you think? We've exceedingly polluted the whole earth everywhere. Okay. Directly from Latin, perverse, it's turned away. Right, turned away from the laws of the Bible, the laws of Yahweh, you know, try. Contrary. All right, turned away from what is right, wrong, malicious, spiteful. All right, the corrupt. Deceit comes from the word pervert. Okay. That's what we have. All right. There you go. Mr. Microsoft says fake meat products will eventually be very good. Alright, that's why, you know, if you have the means to, you know, man, if you, even if you can, like, grow your own food and, okay, stick to organic, because even that's tampered with too, alright, but, you know, in this condition that we're in, we've got to eat the best of the worst, alright, you know, stick to organic stuff, alright, just eat as healthy and as best as you can, alright. That I'm just gonna leave leave it right there, just end it there. So until next time, Lord willing, I'll say Shalom, alright, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.